storms. Way 31's Lyndon Blake joins us live from University Drive, where a portion of that road is closed due to flooding. Lyndon? Dan, the road has opened up just in recent minutes. Right behind me in this right turn lane was completely underwater 30 minutes ago, and it was shut down. And even earlier than that, parts of university were completely underwater. And this part of town was flooded yesterday. I had a worker from Moody Mondays tell me when she was driving in, she experienced at least three feet of water, she guessed. And she said it was coming up to the door of her car. So what's important about this is when these roads are shut down, do not try to go through them because it only takes a few inches or a foot of water to stall out your car and you do not want that burden. But this part of Huntsville hit two days in a row as I was driving down from our station to this area. Traffic lights were going out left and right. So it's really dangerous when these pop-up storms come down. But like I said, this road has been open for the past several minutes. But if you do see standing water and there's still some pockets as you look up and down the road, don't try to go through them because you never know how deep the water really is, Dan. All right, great advice. Thanks, Lyndon. In case of severe weather and road closures, head to ATV.com. We have all the traffic impacts listed in one.